Okay, so, so think like, uh, let me tell you uh, the difference between at and in. At, when you don't give your a specific location, you would say at, I'm at home. You could be anywhere at home. I'm at work, you could be anywhere at work. In, there are two conditions for in. First of all, you give your kind of a specific location. For example, if you say, uh, I am in my bedroom, I'm in my living room, when you are at work and you specify further, then you use in. Same with, in. with at work. You would say, I am in the office, I am in the cafeteria at work, or I am in the parking at work, or I am in my boss's office at work, or I am in uh, the seminar hall, or in the meeting room at work. So when you give your specific location, you would say in. Same you can use with the shopping mall. When you say I'm at the shopping mall, means you could be anywhere. Uh, the shopping malls are normally huge. So that would mean you could be anywhere at work. But when you say I am in that in, in the McDonald's at shopping mall, or I'm in the parking uh, at the shopping mall, or any store you can talk about, any outlet, you can say I am uh, in the Nike store at shopping mall, means you are kind of specified specific location yeah a specific location and uh, or i am in that shop ice cream parlor at the shopping center means you are specifying okay and the second condition for in you should be surrounded by that compound for example when you say about the car you say i am in the car how many people are in the car. That means uh, you are inside that compound of the car, like you are covered by the floor, by the roof, and the, by the sides of the car. Same thing in the room. When you say I'm in the room means you are surrounded. So same thing with the car, you are surrounded, surrounded by the compound, like you got roof, floor, sides. And if you go, uh, normally if you say uh, bike, uh, motorbike or scooty, you would say on the on the motorbike because um, you are not surrounded, obviously, and you are on the top of it. You are okay. on the street like I'm sitting on the sofa. So on. And for on. Uh, bus, train, or airplane, we can use both on and in. How? Like in, you can use bus, airplane, or train, you are surrounded by the compound. Component. You can, in that sense, you can say, I'm in the bus, I'm in the train, I am in the airplane. Yeah. So yeah. I'll explain you when I teach you on after that, I will explain why you can use on as well. So like you can see at, and then we have between, between is very easy. <laughs> between a someone or something is between two things. Like you can see he's, between the pillars, so that's between. So if you put like even bottle of water, if you put like a glass uh, of water between a cup and a bottle of water, so it's between someone or something is between two things. Like you have one oh. thing or one person on left, one person or one thing on the live uh, right. So if you have like a, uh, one of your friend is sitting on the right, other friend is sitting on the left, you would say I'm sitting between them, okay? So same with the things. And in, I've explained to you behind is behind like someone, if it's a person, that person can see you, but you cannot see that person. If like someone is behind you means that person, you are not facing that person, your back is towards that person. So that person would say, oh, like maybe he calls you. He says that, uh, for example, he says Satik. Uh, you can't see where he is, you would say, he would say, I'm behind you. Please. Or if it's a thing, then, so I think just give me one minute. I'm just coming. I'm just getting a call. One minute. Okay.
Yes, sir. Okay, so then obviously you can see, after that you can see under. Under is underneath something, like you put your shoes under the sofa. So, or sometimes you put some things under the table. Like you can see in the picture, that's under. And on is on the top of something. That is like you can see in the picture on the table, like I'm sitting on the sofa or you sit on the chair or the sofa, that's on. Or you put something on the table. You put like a bottle of water on the table, okay? Okay. That's on, that's on. And same thing I was telling you, or if you're on the floor, you would say I'm on the floor. I'm on the so floor. because you floor is underneath you, you are on top of it, you are on the top of it. So you would say on, same way, uh, like for bus, train or airplane, you can use both in and on as well, on in the sense that you are on the floor of that bus, train or airplane. So both criteria are fitting in there. So for the bus, train or airplane, you can use both in and on. Okay. For example, you can say that, for example, if you want to say, uh, like on, you are on the floor of the bus, I'm on the bus. And I mean, in the bus, you can say as well, because you are surrounded by the compound of it. And Completely. I'm in the train and I'm on the train, both are correct. I am in the airplane or I am on the airplane. On the airplane. Both are correct in that sense. And then after that, you can see near, near is nearby, near could be, dep it depends in what sense you are talking. If someone is, is standing close to you, you can say he is or she is near me. Or even like if you talk about any shop at a five minutes walking distance uh, from your home. And uh, here you are talking about walking. So you would say it's the shop is near me. But when you talk mm -hmm. about driving, it could be like five, 10 minutes drive away from you. So you would say that shop is near me, means only five minutes drive away from me. So in that sense, you can use near as well. Or if someone okay. is, it could be like something very close to you as well. So if someone, something is like, if even a cup of tea is near you, very close to you that you can approach it. So you can say it's near me. Or if someone lives very close to you, maybe like five minutes walk or five minutes drive, you would say he lives near me. And then, okay, yeah. okay. And then you have in front of. In front of is like Samne, Amne Samne. In front of is uh, behind that person can see you, you cannot see. But in front of, you can see that person and that person can see you as well. In front of, or if it's a thing, means you are facing that thing and you can see that thing. Like at the moment, my laptop is in front of me. Or if you are like connected on your mobile phone, you would say my mobile phone is in front of me. Anything is in front of your eyes, you can see that. Or even when you open your front door and you would see like uh, a house, another house or apartment facing you, facing your apartment or house, you would say it's in front of me. And if something is behind your house or apartment or any apartment, so that would be behind you because it is facing the back of your house or apartment. Back of the house. Yeah, that's behind. In front of is when you open your front door and you see you that house or apartment is facing your house, the front of your house. That is in front of. In front of. That is in front of. Or any could be any building or any shopping mall. So if it is in front of your office, means when you uh, look at it from the front of your office, you would see it. Uh, across the road. So it is in front of. In front of. Okay, and uh, then we have next to. Next to is Barabar me like next to. Uh, someone is sitting next to you, you would say, he or she is sitting next to me. Next to, right next to. Or even if you put two things, like if you put like sofa next to uh, the TV, for example, or if you put table next to the TV, you would say the table is next to the TV or even like next to is like if someone's someone is your neighbor, your 
your house is next to your house. So you would say he lives next to me or his house is next to my house. So that means or, the object is immediately starting from that. Yeah, right after that, next to, next to, or even if you're sitting and some like on a chair and different people are sitting and the person is after you or before you. So if the person is before you, then you are sitting next to that person or, and then you are going in, in an order one, two, three, four. And then obviously okay. the person after you, you are sitting next to that person who is be before you. And before. the person after you, you would say, he is sitting or she is sitting next to me. If you go in order one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you are number two, so the number who is the person who is a number one, you are sitting next to him. Next and to the him. person who is a number three, he is sitting next to you. Got it. So yeah, okay, that's the order. And then obviously you can see at oh, at school, oh, at work, okay. at the theater, at the cinema, at the zoo. Sure. So these are all the things like obviously, you know, like at we use uh, like when you are giving like like a general location, you are not giving exact location at, at home, at the school, at work, and at the theater, at the cinema, at the zoo. So like I will teach you further, like in our next classes, but uh, like I will teach you uh, prepositions of time as well. But uh, from your next class, from tomorrow, uh, 